Meanwhile, there are conflicting reports on the appearance of the former Petroleum Minister, Diziani Alison Madweke, at the Westminster Magistrate Court in London today. At the Charing Cross Police Station in London, our correspondent Doris Okemwa did not see any sign of Diziani early this morning. She waited for several hours before also visiting the Magistrate Court without any trace of the former minister. But this afternoon, BBC correspondent Sam Peranti tweeted that he cited the former minister and her mother at the magistrate court early today. No details were given on whether she has been charged or when she's due to return to court. Mrs. Deziani Alison Madweke was arrested on Friday morning and was granted bail and was asked to return to court today. In the meantime, some Nigerians living in the UK have been reacting to the arrest. Vigilance is a key word for Nigerians in diaspora. You know, we, we can't leave it up to uh, government agencies and the police to actually go after politically exposed persons, take photographs of their homes in the UK, make your own private investigation. That is the only way we can bring people to justice. If we did wait for the police during the Ibori trial, the Ibori wouldn't be in prison. He was a citizen in the UK who took photographs of his properties in the UK that started the investigation. So even being here, Nigerians being here is actually part of a citizen's responsibility to investigate and make sure that um, things are done, justice is done for the people of Nigeria. I'm very glad and happy that, you know, it seems like justice, uh, justice is going to get done, it's going to be done, you know, because she has been arrested here, not in Nigeria. So I believe that the judiciary uh, here is much more, I mean, I have more confidence in them than if it was the judiciary in Nigeria. They'll be very fair here and then justice will be done at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> 